guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Happy Friday, it's Friday so it's another way in day. Today I'm going to share with you how my week went, talk about the good, the bad, we're gonna set some goals for the upcoming week and we're also going to talk about this week's WW workshop and of course I'll share my way in results. So if you're excited for another way in Friday, give this video a big huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're new to my channel or you're watching and you haven't subscribed, I'd absolutely love to have you join my community. Super simple. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell next to it so you don't miss a single video. I do upload at least five days a week and Friday is always way a day. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find my meal planner. We are about halfway sold out of the final batch. So if you've been eyeing it or it's been something that you're thinking about, make sure that you pick it up before they're gone. They won't be back until next year. So definitely snag a meal planner while you can. On my nutrition coaching website, you'll also find my personalized macro and calorie calculation, essential to know where you should fall calorie and macro wise, whether you're on WW or not. So take advantage of having me do your personalized macros for you. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. So there's a little bit of something for everyone, depending on the level of support that you need. I'd absolutely love to be your cheerleader and help you out. So check all of that out on my nutrition coaching website. Also down in the description box, you'll find links and discounts to all of my favorite things, as well as my Facebook group, a community that would love to have you. Almost 18,000 members strong, so head on over and join us there as well. So we have a workshop topic to discuss, a way in to go over, and let's chat about my week and set some goals. So I hope you all had a fantastic week. I hope it was beautiful and stress-free and just a great week for you. I had a pretty good week, I have to say. It was very busy. We are gearing up to get our new puppy here in a couple weeks, so it's just been really busy with that. Lots going on with YouTube and my Facebook group. We are getting ready to start our spring challenge that starts in the month of April, so people have been joining that, and I'm sending out calendars and stickers. If you're interested, definitely make sure you're part of my Facebook group. It's posted there, so you can head on over and join the challenge. It's so much fun, very motivational. We do Zoom calls, giveaways, prizes, very, very fun. So I've been working on that. And of course, I've been exercising and sticking with my little bit of extra movement that I decided for the month of March. I'm still doing my three days a week of jazzercise. And I also committed for the month of March to take a walk outside at least once a week. So I have done that for the last two weeks. And you guys, I'm loving it. The weather here is becoming so nice. It's nice just to be outside and hear the birds chirp and just get in a little bit of extra activity every week is making me feel a lot stronger and I'm actually getting more endurance when it comes to physical activity, especially at Jazzercise. This fourth day a week of activity may be something that I stick with long term, so definitely stay tuned for that. I had a good week food wise. There were two days that I had a little bit higher calories, but overall I feel like my food for the week went really well and I didn't really struggle with anything in particular, which is amazing. That's a huge win to just have a well balanced easy, well-rounded week. This week's workshop topic is, do you find yourself in a sticky situation? I actually really like this topic. It's going to help us make good decisions when we're in sticky food situations. There are four common scenarios that we can find ourselves in when it comes to food choices, whether or not we stay on plan or don't stay on plan. The first two sticky situations are, are we running low on smart points and our day isn't over yet? Or do you find yourself to be hungry in between meals? We can help these two scenarios by making sure that we're building our meals and our snacks around zero point foods. Lean proteins like chicken or non-fat Greek yogurt. I know on the green plan these aren't zero points, but these are low point food options. So make sure that you're building your meals around those. Lots of lean protein, fruits and vegetables, and then any pointed item that you wanna add to your meal, whether that be a carbohydrate or a healthy fat. So pro tip when it comes to these two scenarios is do a little bit of meal prepping. This doesn't mean spending your whole weekend in the kitchen. This means taking a very small chunk of time and setting yourself up for success. 
For example, buy and prep your frozen in your pantry items staples now. That way when you go to grab a snack or prepare a meal, they're ready to go for you. We're far more likely to make healthier choices if it's convenient and easy for us. The next scenario is a very common scenario in a lot of our lives, and that is we are off track and we are ready to hit the reset button. One thing you can do in this scenario is use the what's in my fridge portion of the WW app. Go through your refrigerator, tell the app what you have in there, and you can build your meals around what you have on hand. This is the easiest way to get back on track. This doesn't mean that we have to go spend a lot of money at the grocery store, or do a complete meal plan. We can just use what we have on hand. Pro tip for this scenario is set your table up like you would at a restaurant. Whether it be a fancy restaurant or a more casual restaurant, put out some linens, some placemats, pick out your nice plates and silverware, put a candle in the middle, light it with some flowers, and really make your table exciting. This will help us get back on track if the environment that we're going to consume the on-track meal in is exciting and inviting. And the third scenario that we find ourselves in quite often is ordering from a restaurant. This can be a really sticky situation. My big tip for this would be to pre-plan. Find the restaurant in the WW app or look it up online. It should have all of the nutritional information for the restaurant. Now, if it's a mom and pop or a small town restaurant, it's probably not going to be in the WW app or online for that matter. So just plan ahead. See if you can access the menu, pick the healthiest option and pre track what you can pre-track. Now I know that there's going to be a little bit of guessing and that's okay. Just get as close as you can to the actual smart points of the meal that you're choosing. And the pro tip for this is if you can't find the exact food or the exact restaurant, make an educated guess. You're not going to derail all your progress if you underestimate or overestimate by a point or two. So the big takeaway from this week's topic is set yourself up for success. Do a little bit of planning and prepping so that you can be successful, whether it's getting back on track or staying on track. So now it's time for this week's weigh-in. Like I said, I couldn't complain about a single thing this last week. It actually was an excellent, excellent week when it came to food, activity, movement, and just overall my life was pretty smooth sailing this last week. So when I stepped on the scale, I am down 0.8. So that is another loss for the month of March. And so far that means that I have lost two pounds already this month, which is great. I am happy with half of a pound to a pound or so a week of weight loss, because for me, I wanna eat as much as I can and still lose weight, keep my metabolism revved, and never feel hungry between meals. So it goes really good and hand in hand with this week's topic. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you have any struggles, anything that you wanna share, any venting that you wanna do, or just ask your questions. I'm always, always happy to help. Let me know how your weigh-in went. Was it what you expected? Definitely leave all that down in the comments for me. So my goals for this next week to continue to do more of the same. I'm going to incorporate that fourth day of activity. Depending on how I'm feeling and how busy my week is, I may even try to get in five days. I mean, who am I getting in two extra days of activity this next week? As the weather gets nicer, I'm definitely more motivated to get outside and do a little bit of extra activity. So if you enjoyed another weigh-in video, give this one a big thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you're watching and you're not subscribed, and actually almost half of the people who watch my channel aren't even subscribed. So make sure you subscribe, it helps me out, and it also lets you know whenever I upload. So hit the subscribe button and then the bell next to it will give you a notification when new videos go live. And again, I do weigh-ins every single Friday. We, check, we talk about the workshop topic, I share my week, we set some goals, and then we can interact with each other in the comments. Comments. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for the meal planner, my nutrition coaching website for personalized macros and calories, and one-on-one -on -one coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join the spring challenge. And again, all of the information is pinned to the top of my Facebook group, so head on over and join us. Happy Friday, my friends. I hope that you have the best Friday ever, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.